my little bitty hammer came in the mail today and I am so happy. I love how cute this thing is. So the other day I was sewing a pair of jeans and I needed a hammer to put on the jean button. I could not find my husband's hammer for the life of me so I just decided to order myself a hammer and keep it in my sewing room. That way when I need a hammer I'll know exactly where it is and this one is just adorable. I have been working on Simplicity 9375. This is my second time making this skirt and I'll link my first version down below in the description box if you're interested in seeing that one. I am making the shorter version here view D. The first time I also made view D but I did use a long overlay in the front and this time I'm not going to do anything special with the overlay. I'm just going to leave it as it is. I wanted to make this skirt in denim and I found this denim fabric from Joanne Fabrics and I love the color. I love how neutral this color is. So I have been working on the pockets. So I have the pockets pinned to the front and for the back I did put the pockets on. I sewed the pockets on already and I also put in the zipper. Here's a closer view of the denim fabric and I did decide to add a pocket to the front of the skirt and I used this McCall's 8206 pattern and I just took the pocket out of here and sewed it up and attached it to the front of the skirt and I did put a jean button also on the front of the skirt and the other thing that I'm doing is I plan to leave this edge frayed and possibly the bottom I might leave this frayed also I am almost done with the skirt. Right now I'm in the process of pinning the pockets together so that I can sew those down. And once I put the pockets together then I will put on the waistband and I have those pieces right here. I still need to add interface into these pieces. Sew those together and then put them on the skirt. And then hemming, which I'm still deciding whether I want to keep the hem raw and frayed or if I want to put in a traditional hem. I think I'm going to wash the skirt and then see how it's looking and then make my decision after I wash it. This skirt has been in here for a couple days now. I don't know why I just didn't feel the urge to come in here and sew so I just let it sit around until I felt like actually coming in here and working on it. So I think today will be the day that I actually finally get this skirt all finished. I finally finished the skirt. I put it in the washing machine and the dryer and this is how it came out. The edges are frayed and the hem is also frayed. There were a lot of little strings hanging off so I did have to go and cut those off. But now all I need to do is press this and then I can actually put it on. On second thought, I decided that maybe I will stitch really close to the frayed edge of the skirt just to prevent the skirt from continuing to unravel after each and every wash and drying session. So I'm stitching along the side edge and then I'm going to turn this around and stitch along the bottom. And then after that, I will be all done and then I can press it after that time. This skirt does have darts in the back. I did make a size eight. And this pattern is rated as average. So earlier I mentioned that I purchased a hammer on Amazon. So I want to leave you with a love share of something else that I purchased that I think is so nice and handy. And it is these slippers. They do come in different colors. They also come with this bag which has a zipper. And what's nice is you can fold up the slippers and you can stick them inside of the bag and then you can carry them with you, put them in your purse or in your car and you'll just have some slippers handy whenever you need them. So I had to get these. I thought that they were just perfect, especially for when you're traveling. So if you're interested in these, I will put a link to these slippers below and also to the hammer.